Hey, hello guys. Um, in the uh, in our last video, what we discussed, uh, how we are going to create a simple uh, REST API and using our JC model. Okay, so we have create we haven't created anything new. We just created a normal JC project and we just executed the uh, the simple uh, method which is available for my resources at Java. Okay, let's do something. Let's create our own resource. That means I have another uh, resource which can be uh, showing some other inf some other user information. So like, let me create a, a simple POJO file like any DTO kind of thing. Okay. Um, okay. What we can? Okay. Let me create a DTO. I can uh, name it as uh, what you can. Okay. Let me name it as a student. Okay. Student DTO. Okay. Okay, let me create a. Uh, let's have first name and last name. Okay, private string. First name and last name. And we need to have a, a constructor and the, and the getter setters. Okay, create getter setters. And set all. So I want the getter setters for both of the fields and I need a constructor so I can easily assign the objects okay okay that's all and okay uh, let me override the default to string method so I can print the data okay okay cool okay that's done okay so let's open my resource so when if you want to create your new resources the first thing which you need to note down what is the path there are multiple things which you need to remember the first thing is path path means which describes what is my resource name because resource name resource name is indicates which resource has to called okay so that comes under path and get method it is again it's an annotation and produce okay get is nothing but what kind of request whether it is a get or to the post okay if you're aware of servlet you might know what is get and what is post and produce what it exactly doing is it is trying to tell the client what kind of uh, um, content I'm going to produce like I'm going to send us a text response or I'm going to send us a uh, example XML response or you can send us a JSON response also okay so that is that will be defined by the producer okay let's create our own uh, resource okay I'm gonna create okay student resource new class and let's take it student student resource okay finish it okay remember all those things okay the first thing what we need your resource it has to be annotated with the path that means what is your resource name okay let's do that at path let import let's uh, call it as a student service student service okay so the first thing is done this is my resource then I will specify what is the method I mean uh, the request type whether it is a post method or get method so I'm going to define as a get method okay give me a minute okay. let me create a method first uh, which will return the student DTO okay so the method is public student get student okay and so it's going to return student so initially I'm just putting as a return null okay so let me create a object for our student DTO student is something st student is equal to come on my machine is a little bit slow just give me a minute okay student so I had to provide the first name and last name okay 
so their name is John. Dennis is my first name and uh, my last name is John. Okay. And I'm going to print the data. Okay. So I'm going to specify with some notation. Okay. This is a stable student. Okay. So and I'm going to turn the student. Okay. Done. Okay, so what else is missing? So I know student service is my path. That means that that is my REST API resource. So whoever is going to call my REST service, they are going to use the student service. Okay. So what else missing? So I just want to know what is the request type. Whether I'm going to use a get method or post method. So since it's a simple example, I'm going to use get method. So I'm just using the get method. So that is done. Okay. The next thing, when I return the response, how I'm going to return the response? Whether I'm going to produce a, a text format or XML format or JSON format. Okay. So I'm I'm going to make it simple. So I'm going to use the I'm going to return as a XML format. Okay. So let's create a produce. Users. Okay, it comes from the service. Okay, so here let me specify what kind of uh, I mean data I'm going to return. Okay, so we have a different kind of con constant values to specify what kind of data. So th everything is comes under media type. Media type dot application atom XML. Okay. So this is I s this is specified. Okay, this is my resource and this is my uh, get method and it produces the XML format. So this outcome is written as a XML format. Okay, so I think we are good here. Let's go ahead and uh, run the application and let's see what happen. Okay, let me run this. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, let's see what is happening. Come on, okay. So it is running. Give me a few seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Please bear with me. My system is kind of a little bit slow today. Okay, resources are loaded. Server starter. Okay, so this is the launching page okay let me click jc resource this is nothing but the default uh, service which is created as part of jc project okay so we know what is our resource okay this is my resource copy that and go and paste your resource here and see what is happening okay so something is wrong let's go ahead and see what is the error okay Okay, so okay, let's see what else we missed. Okay, it is going to return a uh, XML format. XML will always expect what is my XML root element. Okay, so since we are going to return a D2 object, D2 doesn't know what is the XML and what is the root element and all. So what we can do is we can open the student D2 and we can specify the annotation saying like, which is my root element so student is going to be in root element so I'm going to use the annotations um, what is that okay XML root element just give me a second uh, it is loading okay it is done okay let me run it again let me okay, let's copy this okay I'm going to run again Okay, it's done. Let me click. Okay, this is fine. Let me try this resource. Okay, still we are getting the same issue. So something is wrong. Give me a second. 
Okay, uh, path is there, gate is there, produce is there. I think there is something issue with the DTO. Okay, let me see. Oh, oh my god, sorry. The default constructor is missing. This necessary for this API. Whenever you're using DTO, you just make sure you have the default constructor there. Okay, so that is done. Okay, I'm not going to do anything, I'm just uh, rebuilding it again, like kind of resetting again. I'm going to run again. Let's see what happened. Okay, normal resource is working. Let me try to run our student resource. Okay, I think something is coming. Okay, the data is coming, but the problem is we are expecting external format but it's coming as a normal uh, java letter i mean java string so what is wrong it's nothing to do with uh, this browser actually this is the internal browser for eclipse so what you can do is just go to window you need to use the external browser okay uh, and use uh, chrome okay just close it and try to run it again so when you're opening it now it will run in a external browser which is uh, nothing but our chrome browser see it's game just click okay the normal service is working let me try the student resource cool see it is becoming a XML response now okay just try your try try to yourself and uh, let me know if you have any issues and 